Hi, my name is Onza, and welcome back to City Skylines. This is episode 3 of Luke's Junction, the series where I build a city mainly from my imagination, but I am inspired from most American cities, and use some City Skylines game mechanics as well, because I can do much more, because that's the only way this city is going to stay afloat. Since the last video, I did a little expansion with two new suburbs and two trolley bus lines, so people can get to the downtown. But it's still kind of messy, and sometimes there is a traffic jam, for example here. And I think this could be avoided by... Yeah, here we go. And it is still kind of growing because the demand isn't really that high, so we really can't do much. But I have already unlocked, while playing off camera, Big Town and slowly we're on track to get to Small City, which means trains, which are the best way of moving people around the city. Well, they aren't the most effective. That probably is for the trams to take, but they are the coolest, and they are they are the easiest way of spending a bunch of money on something that just looks cool. So, in this episode, we are finally going to start building a central business district. So, to do that, we have to cross the lake. Is it, or is it more of a... I, I don't know. We're going to have to cross this mass of water because there isn't much space in here. This is more of a suburban part of the city. So, we're going to build a bridge because bridges are pretty cool. and yeah this is basically the start of the downtown or the central business district so we're just going we're just going to do the road layout and maybe some major buildings but not much else nothing like adding a bunch of buildings to the city center or something like that we don't really have time for that in this episode this is going to be purely just road layout and all that stuff that has to be with it so I'm going to transition the into a time-lapse and yeah so since the time I recorded this I recorded the day before I recorded the this commentary I had time to plan the downtown a bit more and yeah now I have a plan so here it is there is going to be a pretty big central station somewhere near the center because yeah it's just a main station they used to be in the city center and then yeah the central train station is probably going to be the first thing i'm going to build it probably in the next episode along with some of those major skyscrapers and after after that maybe a university or something because since the skyscrapers are going to be office buildings these office buildings they require people who are highly educated 
and that requires a university so that's going to be an issue because universities are pretty damn expensive but we can get around it somehow but back to what's happening on the screen I am now planning out the tram line or streetcar line the, which will serve the train station and the surrounding area I built this small loop here I might later expand it I don't know but this is basically the most basic and smallest loop I could get away with which didn't look like extremely sharp and with this basically allows the strands to go like 20 or 30 well 30 not really but 20 kilometers an hour without like derailing which is going to be pretty good because yeah it's kind of important to have fast service so anyway now I'm planning out the station I'm using these vanilla gravel roads because they look probably the best for this and yeah I will download some of those modular station from the workshop just so we can have like intercity trains going in here but maybe I'll use those undecorated stations by KGMCI I don't really know yet there are two choices but anyway I am now making these plant switches look better because even though it's just planning road track it still has to look at least present presentable because otherwise the railroad people would get very mad because they would say that the train would derail at that sort of sharp curve if we wanted to go at a decent speed through the station so yeah that's just to satisfy those railroad fanatics I'm a railroad fan not a fanatic I'm not like gonna s send people death threats when they build highways and not railroads I would be still pre I would be unhappy but not like death threat unhappy so yeah thanks to coming to my TED talk or something I don't know so anyway right now I'm building an extension to the trolley bus line which is basically the way you get to the central business district from one of those suburbs I built off camera this is going to be pretty important because yeah otherwise they would have to drive and in this city we are we want it to be slowly less and less car dependent even though it does not fit the theme because car dependency is sort of the thing I think of when someone says American cities so anyway right now I am doing some quick detailing I also added these roads with bike lanes because this is near the downtown so bike lanes are probably like at least passable and the city council can like it is easier to convince them to have bike lanes near the city center than in like some far flung suburb so yeah that's the explanation I'm going for anyway in these hills, hills where I'm building these weird roads I am going to build like a university campus or something 
also if you may have noticed my income has gone a bit up and that's because I enabled the export electricity mod so now when I have three services that I have a bit more than I consume I sell the capacity which is pretty neat because it allows me to just AFK the game okay right now I'm making the how it's called the, the uh, basically the trolley bus terminal or mini terminal but yeah I'm going to just extend the line and that's going to be it for this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a like it really helps and the algorithm really notices it so anyway if you really like my content and you would like to get notified subscribe also comment because I'd like to hear your thoughts on some ideas that I have and yeah I'll see you in the domain